All right, what's going on guys? In this video, I will be showing you how to launch the different types of Beyblade correctly. Uh, I know I made a video on how to launch attack types. It is a little bit old now. I'm probably actually worse at launching attack types now, but I've been actually receiving quite a few people asking me to show how I launch all types of Beyblades, just in general. So I thought I'd make a video um, just on how to launch different types and yeah, like how I would how I would do it in different matchups. And we have Rocky and Kyo just chilling here. See, we have Rocky. We have Kyo. <laughs> just watching me. Okay. So we'll start with attack types. With attack types, there's a lot of different ways you can angle it. So the <clears throat> original sliding shoot was it was easier done with a ripcord launcher. But you would angle it, and you would actually shoot it to the other side. Like, um, I, I wouldn't say that was really a sliding shoe, but it was still a decent launch. So the way that I tend to do it is just by um, getting as you want to be as close to the stadium floor as possible. Um, sorry if my <clears throat> voice sounds sounds kind of weird. Serena and I are uh, coming down with some sort of sickness or something. But yeah, you want to have the launcher as close to the stadium floor as possible. That's one of the reasons I like just using a uh, string launcher. I, I like the carabiner grips, but uh, I eventually just switched to just a string launcher because it fit in my case better. Um, I know a lot of people who do still use launcher grips. I just found that they can get in the way for me sometimes. So you want to get it as close to the floor as possible, and then you want to level it with the floor. And that is your basic attack launch. <clears throat> so that that flower wasn't great you also need to know how hard and how soft to launch the actual attack type so if you have a rubber flat that is very fresh you don't want to launch as hard as you can because it's going to have less grip it's going to be <clears throat> more of a flat surface and with the less grip it's going to be way less easy to control therefore KOing itself quite a bit um, and then with really, like, if you have a really worn rubber flat, you can launch it really hard because usually they move slower and they're more controlled just because there's more friction. So again, you just aim it, uh, straight down at the same, uh, angle as the stadium floor. And that is your most basic attack launch. Now you can aim attack types. So, uh, Cake has showed me that when you tilt it, so when it's down and it's angled with the floor, you can actually tilt it inwards too. So if you're angling it, you can tilt it in and it will shoot towards the middle. So let me try that. Okay, that that was not right. Like that. So you do have a chance of self KOing, which is why I um, am fairly scared to do this in, in matches. But you'll see that it kind of goes right down towards the middle. And then the other one is obviously the opposite direction. So you aim it this way and it will uh, stall up here a little bit. And that's one that I am more comfortable doing. I'm not sure why. But you really need to choose when to angle and how to do your, your attack launch. Because if they're using a staller and you keep launching like this and you're revving up right here and their staller just comes around and KOs you, you might need to launch this way so you're um, revving up right uh, by a wall. So that's how I, I launch attack types. In the attack v attack ditto, I do like flat launching attack types because I feel like, I don't know how to explain it. They're, they're, it's just moving faster. And it's I feel like the, the Beyblade that's not flowering has a better chance of KOing the Beyblade that is flowering. And it's worked for me um, this whole time so so yeah but that is how i launch attack types really not that much to it there's probably a whole lot more depth i could go into this is just kind of a bare bones video so yeah let's move on to defense types so with defense types depending on the defense tip you can launch very hard so with rsf you can get very aggressive ones this is actually one of my more calm rsfs and with defense types, you don't want to be close to the edge at all. You want to be more in the middle and having more uh, grip and stuff. Um, so things like rubber ball, a worn RSF, um, 
even RDF, you really don't want to launch as hard as you possibly can unless the matchup depends on it. Like you're going up and you're trying to do a Hail Mary KO on a stamina type or you want to win in the mirror match or something like that. Um, so you just really don't want to monkey launch certain tips because they can go really aggro and then actually be worse for defense. There is a launch technique called the, the weak launch. Uh, and this is very good for RSF. Um, I wouldn't use it for CS because CS already has such good stamina. And now what you're doing when you light launch is you're sacrificing a bit of stamina, but you're gaining a whole bunch of defense. Let me show you. So <clears throat> if I launch in just normally and I launch in at attack type, the attack type sometimes can KO it. Now, if I light launch it, wasn't the best example but there's more it's, there's more surface grip to the stadium um and and it's moving slower so it's just harder to ko i'm not a genius guys i don't know why to be completely honest all i know is that it works and it's an underrated strat and i don't see it enough i see people just monkey launch um but the weak launch is a real thing especially in metal fight um for defense types so you need to pick and choose when to do that. Never, never weak launch. Okay, if you're going up against a stamina type with a defense type, you should always monkey launch. If you're going up against a attack type, you can light launch because chances are you'll still have more stamina than the rubber flat of the attack type. Especially because defense wheels, uh, metal wheels also generally have better stamina than attack wheels. So, yeah. Um, when you have something like R RS that's not very worn, you can just rip that thing. I I don't weak launch RS because its balance is terrible, especially if you're using it on something like Jade, which is really wide. I always just launch as hard as possible because unless you have a very worn RS, it's, it's going to stay pretty stationary. All right. Now, the last one is Metal Flat. This is one that I see a lot of skill issue with. Um, I'm not entirely sure why, um, but yeah, let's go for it. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm trying to think of how I can explain this in an easy way. So with Metal Flat, your whole goal is to stall. You don't want to flower it if you don't have to. Flowering it, um, you obviously can, and there are situations where you need to if you're going up against something like Medio or going against Stamina Types or you need to get uh, one of those Hail Mary KOs. Uh, you can flower it. Uh, I, I've noticed I've never been very good at flowering metal flat. I, I think it's very difficult to do. Um, but the main thing that you want to do is stall it. Hold on. I need to... Hey, Kyo. Get down from there, buddy. Sorry, guys. He was jumping up on my PC. And I wanted to jump on my display case. Yo, just sit back down and watch me stall this Bakushin Leon or Bakushin Kerbex. All right. So with Metal Flat, what you <laughs> what you want to do is you want to have it flat to the sur the surface. So you want to have it. Imagine that you're you're lining it up with the floor beneath the stadium. It the, the right here doesn't matter. <laughs> the slopes. Yo, you're so cute, dude. Whoa, buddy. Okay. Yo, I need to I need to record this video. Kyo, please. <laughs> okay, so you want to pretend that you're aiming it for the floor. This is one of the reasons why I don't use a launch for grip anymore. I just felt that I had more control with metal flat um, with a smaller launcher. The carabiner grip works really good. Okay, so when you have it straight, you just pull really hard and you do not want to move your left hand. And all of the, or, or your right hand, whichever one you hold the launcher with, you don't want to move it. And obviously I'm gonna move it a little bit just be just because you can't completely keep it 100% still unless you're a beast. But that's that's really all there is to it. And it should work in most places. So even if I do a flat launch right there, it just, it just changes where it starts hitting the ridge. Now notice if I try to line it up with this or I'm even just a little bit off, you, you'll get a stall, but you'll hear this. That's a bad stall because it's, it's not evenly moving around the stadium. Yep. 
um, and that will just ruin its stamina. So again, you want to imagine that you're lining it up with the ground, and it will take some practice to get used to it, and you just pull really hard. And you want to pull as hard as you can, because stalling, you obviously want to move around the stadium. So with Metal Flat, against defense types, uh, you always want to stall, because you will win. Um, against stamina types, you're generally not ever going to win unless your opponent's using a, a Hasbro Ripcord Launcher. Um, if it is stamina, that's when you're going to need to go for the KO. Same with Medio. You're going to need to do um, a KO. Are you going to grab a KO? Oh, shoot, KO. You could have clawed through the summit. What would I have done? Um, but yeah, against stamina types... Okay, attack types is where it gets tricky. I usually like stalling because what I count on is people launching an attack type kind of bad where it like revs up right there for a while. And as their thing is doing that, I kind of start right here. So I want to uh, get it as close to the, their Beyblade as possible. So I'll start on this side when I do this stall and then I'll do this and then boom, I'll KO it. Um, or for them, it will be right here. You get what I'm saying? Um, it's just, you know, you got to know what to use and when. So, quickly, just with attack types, flat launch against other attacks, attack types. That's just what I found to work for me personally. Um, sometimes I even launch a little lighter. If you know, like, if you're a screw wheel going up against a Pegasus wheel, which is significantly lighter and has more recoil than screw and way worse stamina, um, I, I generally only medium launch this because I know that since this is heavier and has a better shape, it will probably still beat pre-hybrid Pegasus, even on the exact same setup. With uh, Metal Flat, you want to stall defense types and try to KO stamina types and medium. And then with defense types, you against stamina types, you want to launch as hard as you can. And then against defense types, um, I get other defense types also launch as hard as you can. And then against attack types, you can try launching as hard as you can, but if it doesn't work, you can light launch. So yeah, those are my tips on how to get better at launching. And if you want to learn how to do it left, good luck. It's just the complete opposite, but it will mess you up.